All right, guys, I wanted to show you an overview of my 90s collection that has grown since the last time I had this wall up. This is my favorite area of my game room because obviously there's a lot of nostalgic things in here that obviously go back to when I was a kid that I've gotten so far. You can see all the different collectibles that are here and all of the different things that I have here. And we're even going to be talking about a couple of things that are 90s related that I have on my retro computer desk as well because they fit on the same thing, but I just decided to have them on the computer desk instead uh, just because I, they fit better here and obviously for room purposes and stuff like that. But um, I do want to go through and show you some of these collectibles that I have here and talk about a few of them. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Game in tech, eating brekkie is the game in tech, going for a brekkie is the game in tech, game in tech is the game in tech, game in tech. Alright guys, so here we are. So let's go ahead and start on the left hand side here. So on the left hand side here, of course, we have Boring Meets World, a giant poster here uh, right next to the Smallville area. So talking about Smallville, you can see I have... Uh, Smallville right there. I have Buffy the Vampire there in the corner. I love Smallville. Used to watch Smallville all the time. Then over here we have the Giant Boy Meets World area here as you can see here. I have a script of the original episode signed by Corey as you guys are seeing there. I have the Corey Bobblehead. Uh, that scene right there. I don't know how many of you guys remember but it's the long walk to Pittsburgh. Uh, from season four episode 16 and 17 my favorite episode because obviously like a lot of us probably back in the 90s i had a huge crush on topanga and that was a scene that like you know with her wet hair it was curly and everything i'm a really big fan of curly hair and she had it wet from the rain and stuff she just looked really good so it's one of my favorite scenes in that video or in that show and then of course i had the nickelodeon magazine with board meets uh worth cory sitting there i have a board meets world hat we have some uh pictures there uh, in the background from the whole entire cast and then we have the Topanga. I do have an autograph coming from Topanga or Danielle Fisher uh, specifically autographed to me that I'm waiting for to come in over the next couple of weeks so I'm excited to add that to the collection here. Uh, but I love Bore Me to World as my favorite all time show and I'm happy to have a nice collage area for it in my collection. Moving down here you can see we have a nice Toys R Us sign. So, of course, I had to get get a nice Toys R Us sign. You know, obviously, Toys R Us leaving, uh, for the, the most part, leaving the United States and stuff. Uh, grew up in my childhood with Toys R Us. Um, and it's sad to see it go. But here we are, right here, with the Toys R Us sign. And then we also have a Friends uh, poster. Sorry, it's a little dark in that corner. But that is signed by the whole entire cast, including Jennifer Aniston, which is really, really cool. That that's signed by the whole cast there. Friends is, an also, is also one of my favorite shows. And right here in front is my Mickey Mouse TV. So this is awesome because I get to watch some old school DVDs uh, that I have on here on this Mickey Mouse TV. A lot of us had these CRTs back in the day that, uh, you know, weren't the best CRTs in the world, to be honest. But they were just cool because they were themed to Disney or themed to certain properties. And I love to have this Disney one here. Like I said, there's a their DVD or sorry. Uh, yeah, DVD player on the bottom with the CRT. And then, of course, I have some of my favorite Nickelodeon shows. I, I have just the season one of everything sitting up here, or season two if they fit in the same case. But, like, for example, Hannah Montana, the first season, is sitting over here. But, obviously, I have the rest of the seasons hiding in the back there. But these are some of my favorite shows. Some of the ones on the top, I actually had to make the DVDs myself. Uh, like, even Steven, So Weird. I don't know who remembers the famous Jet Jackson. So, obviously, these are all Disney shows, hence why it's a Disney TV. Um... And the jersey sitting down there. Some of my favorite Disney Channel shows from back in the day that some of us probably remember. But unfortunately, they never make they never made like a DVD release for it. So like the famous Jet Jackson and the jersey and stuff are almost impossible to completely find. And even the one I have here, the jersey, like I have almost every episode, but there are a couple of episodes that I can't find anywhere online for the jersey. So I had to not have it. Same thing with Bug Juice, uh, had that on there. So I had to make these DVDs myself, and they work great. And then I obviously get to watch them on here, which is a really nostalgic feeling to be able to watch them and have the commercials on them from back in the day all that kind of stuff so really happy to have this tv and this collection of dvds on here as well moving up over here we start going to the nickelodeon area or actually let's talk about the top area too before i forget so up here again it's a little dark in some of these areas unfortunately but this is my video now collection so you can remember these uh dvd cases that we had over here uh let me show you guys one up close so these are the video now like Scooby-Doo, for example, that we would have before iPads were, or sorry, iPods were a thing and stuff like that. There were these, I had the device over there and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. 
but this is my collection of all my video now book uh tv shows and stuff which is really cool to have and then over here some some really classic stuff that i have uh, on bhs like the good burger uh little bear and the uh one of my favorite shows as a kid besides little bear was also gullah gullah island i love the theme song to that show and it's fantastic to have that here as well uh, over here we have a nice double dare VHS there in the corner along with the Nickelodeon hat. Over here is my Nickelodeon shelf. You can see a bunch of different things here from my favorite Disney, uh, my favorite uh, Nickelodeon TV TV shows. We got a Clarissa Explains It All notebook. We have the Nickelodeon blimp. Uh, we have Rugrats. We have Hey Arnold. Uh, Rocco's Modern Life. We have Gak. If you guys all remember Gak. All Real Monsters sitting up there. Uh, who remembers uh, these tech decks that everyone used to play with with their fingers to skateboard? That was really cool. Uh, we have a flashlight, the Midnight Society, that it says on there from Are You Afraid of the Dark? So some really cool stuff on here. We got some slime sitting up there. We got the bus pass. We got a lot of cool things on this shelf here uh, from Nickelodeon. Scrolling down here, we have uh, more Nickelodeon stuff. We have a nice Nickelodeon posters with all the characters on there. We have Nickelodeon Guts. We have the, the aggro piece that you won when you won the show. Uh, then we have a medal sitting in that plastic area right there. I love that I had this Mickey Mantle card. If you guys remember that from Hey Arnold, uh, when he really wanted this baseball card. Really cool to have this in the collection as well. Then we have another Nickelodeon magazine. This is uh, the Kids Choice Awards. This is signed by Rosie O'Donnell. Uh, so that's really cool. And then we have Sabrina the Teenage Wish. We have a uh, comic from there. We have KB Toys, another sign there. I love KB Toys. Used to go to that across my street all the time when I was a kid. And then down here, we have uh, Dawson's Creek. We have Katie Holmes, uh, one of my also love that show from back in the day. Right here in front, we got a bunch of Polly Pockets here. These are some of the Disney ones over here. This is Disney with Mickey Mouse in here. These are uh, Pocahontas is sitting over here, uh, Beauty and the Beast. So some of these are on here. We have a SpongeBob CD player. Of course, everything I have in my collection works. I wouldn't have it if it didn't work. So that CD player, of course, works. Uh, I can put my CDs in there, and you can see I have some CDs from back in the day, Lizzie McGuire. I have the Now, that's what I call Christmas music. Of course, I have more CDs on here, like Now 2, Now 1. I have all of those sitting over here uh, to be able to listen to and get some of that nostalgic music that was playing in the 90s that we all know and love. Over here, uh, I don't know how many of you guys had this, but I used to love RC cars back in the day, and this is the one that everyone wanted back in the day. This is from Tyco, and this is the Rebound, the full version of it. And I have the batteries, and yes, this all, all this stuff still works. I have the battery charger there, and the remote is sitting right here, as you guys are looking at. And this thing it was a monster. It would go over, over stairs. It would climb over things. It was just a menace on the streets. And awesome to have that as part of the collection and the fact that it still works. Let me come into the center here. You can see we have... Uh, a couple of books here. Did I do that? Look, it says the 90s book. And then we have Franklin, the VHS tape. And then we have my favorite Disney Channel original movie of all time, which is Smart House sitting up there on VHS. That's actually a really rare VHS to have. Uh, really hard to find nowadays. Getting more and more expensive. Uh, nice Nickelodeon plaque. I love the way that that plaque leaves. My wife got that movie for Christmas. It's fantastic. Uh, coming down here, we have Ninja Turtles. And this one is signed by Donatello, I believe. Uh, you can see there. Is signed by him. Then we have a couple of pins there from Nickelodeon, like Reptar, Double Dare, stuff like that. A 90s, like little sign that I made. Then we have the Cynthia doll from Rugrats, which is fantastic. Then we have the Snick VHS up there. I love the Snick series. Um, it's awesome because it was basically everything we look forward to. They would have like a series of TV shows uh, that would all play back to back to back. I used to love Nickelodeon Stick and uh, days that I always look forward to as a kid when those were playing. Uh, down here, of course, we have some 90s board games. You can see we have the MTV uh, game that they came out with recently. Just to show off some MTV from all of us remembering watching MTV music videos and stuff like that back in the 90s. We have a nice little sign there. We have a 1990s Uno collection. Uh, this is the Crossfire pieces. I don't have Crossfire sitting here, but it is in the back room there. I just have this here to remember, and everybody knows I do have Crossfire uh, sitting on there. Crossfire is a great game. Uh, then we have a 90s trivia game. And then we have the classic Nightmare. I don't know how many of you guys remember this from back in the day, but it's ridiculous. You basically have a VHS, VHS tape in there, and it was one of the scariest games you could play as a kid back in the day. You actually have to watch it, and it plays uh, certain scenes while you're playing the board game and stuff. It's crazy 90s. Definitely one of the more crazy games back in the 90s for when it comes to board games. Don't Wake Daddies down there. 
We have Hungry Hungry Hippos. We have Perfection sitting over here. As you guys are looking at, we have, I don't know how many of you guys remember this guy right here. Uh, I actually forget the name of the, na the game right now fully, but this wizard guy I had as a kid, and you would ask it questions, and it would say yes, no. It's kind of like a, 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 an eight ball, but just even better. Then we have Apples to Apples sitting there, and then a Friends uh, collection of board game there. We have the original Game of Life. We have Operation. We have Risk. We have Break the Ice. And then down here... We have uh, Twister, we have Fireball Island, the, the remake of it. We have Guess Who, the original. Um, and I forget the name of this game over here as well uh, in that blue container. And then we also have the remake of the Return to Dark Tower that just came out for Kickstarter uh, backers. So it's not the original, but in my opinion, it's a much better than the original game. And it still deserves a spot here because it's obviously remaking the original and uh, love that. Some of the other games that I had as a kid over here is The Mansion, Mystery Mansion. I used to love that game so much. I'm glad I have it. 13 Dead End Street. And then the Pokemon Master Trainer board game. These are all original from the 90s, and all of them is complete. And you can play them, of course. Everything works, like I said. Even though this is an electronic game, everything works. Everything is great. And I love having these as part of my collection because I used to play these three as a kid all the time. Coming back up here, we just have a sidekick sitting up there. And some of these things that I have on the shelf are anywhere from the 90s to the early 2000s because obviously that was my whole childhood. So some of the, you may see some things from the 2000s here as well, but majority of it is 90s. Uh, you can see here we got Pogs. Everybody remembers Pogs. I have my collection of Pogs right there in that gigantic book. A lot of Pogs in there. Uh, Beanie Babies, the original Slinky. This is the original one. Uh, Ronald McDonald's. We got some McDonald's toys sitting in here. Uh, we got the original Talk Boy. Who can forget about that? We got another Polly Pocket sitting up here. We have the Yak Back. If you guys remember that, that you would talk into, that thing was nuts. We got the original Bop It. We got a. Um, a yo-yo, of course, from Duncan. We got the Blues Clues Notebook. We got the original Furby, the original Magic 8-Ball. We got the, the those uh, toys. I forget exactly what they're called right now that were like little video game screens that they had for like everything in the world that were usually pretty terrible. Uh, we got some uh, baseball cards that usually came with that gum that's still sealed and still has the gum in there, which is hilarious. We got the Flintstones. We got the original Disney Channel uh, music card for mix clip if you guys remember mix clip from disney i have that on the other side over there that will show eventually down here we got a really fantastic piece here this is a kids choice awards from i believe 1998 that is completely signed by everybody who was in there and it's a fantastic piece that i got from someone who was there who used to work at nickelodeon and gave me this uh it's fantastic amanda Bynes signed this from all that as you guys see in the middle nickelback is on here uh, Kenan and Keller on here. You know, a bunch of different people signed this shirt, and it's a fantastic piece to have. You can see all of the different signatures on there. Uh, I love this, and I love it being a part of my history of all the people that I remember from back in the day. Watching Kids' Choice Awards is actually on this shirt, and it's fantastic. Over here as well, we have Phil of the Future, which is signed by Phil himself, which is awesome. And coming down here, so let's start right here in this corner. We have the Lizzie McGuire doll. We have a Pete and Pete doll. Of course, we have my little Pokemon shrine over here because I was a huge Pokemon fan. Uh, this has my entire collection of the original um, Pokemon cards. This is a two-player starter kit that we all had when we were a kid. We have the Pokédex. We have the entire Pokemon original series on DVD to watch. Who remembers these Pokemon uh, collector guides that we all used to buy to see how much our cards were worth and stuff back in the day? Love having these as part of the collection as well. And then down here we have a Ninja Turtles TV. So this is obviously, again, like the Disney one over there, this became my Ninja Turtles TV to be able to watch Nickelodeon shows over here. So we got the Ninja Turtles DVD player up here along with the actual uh, thing there. We have the remotes on them. And again, we have TV shows like on here, Amanda Bynes uh, season one and two, which is actually getting really hard to find these nowadays. Carissa explains it all. We got Doug the Complete Series. We got Alex Mack. We got... Alan Strange back there that I actually had to make that one too down here because Alan Strange is not something that ever released on DVD so it was the same thing I had to make that one as well um, and then I have like these plug-in plays that you can plug into the to the TV as well uh, that's also Ninja Turtles which is really cool so it matches the TV perfectly to be able to play some of those plug-and-play devices on there that's hooked up so this is really cool to be able to watch my Nickelodeon ones it's not as big as the Disney one but it doesn't need to be our TVs back in the day weren't big either, so it's awesome. And then we have My Brother and Me that I really got, which is a really hard DVD to find nowadays as well. Hey Arnold, Gullah Gullah Island, chilling there in the corner. Moving over here in the corner, we got Saved by the Bell, another one of my favorite shows from back in the day. We have a gigantic poster from them. Up here, 
we do have uh those are friends actual like uh clips from the actual tv show which is really cool we got the pokemon trainer and then we have a uh, mary kit and ashley olsen which obviously was all ingrained in part of our lives back in the day when we used to watch their tv show or movies that they would come out with like it seemed like every two weeks basically uh coming down here some really cool stuff so speaking of uh one tree hill i got these two this is the nanny from the show if you guys all remember that this is of course bethany really cool that i had these autographed that um my mother-in-law got for me when she met them and they're obviously autographed to me it says uh to carlos which is fantastic um like i said love that show here is some more stuff we got rachel green pop we got scooby-doo we got a um obviously some power ranger stuff on there we got the view master with a bunch of different view masters you can look at which is awesome um we got this right here graded card uh from saved by the bell from kelly love kelly another one of my crushes from back in the 90s and then of course we have the simpsons sitting over here and then there's just a bunch of stuff down here another viewfinder there from blossom that toy that we all used to play with from back in the day we got sock and boppers i got an entire almost entire collection of all the disney adventure books as you guys are seeing here uh, I love the Disney Adventure books. My friend at work actually collected these and just gave them to me, which is freaking awesome. And uh, thankful that he gave them all to me because I love reading these. It brings a 90s nostalgic right to your face because obviously there's a lot of things in the book talking about and referencing toys and stuff from back in the day and TV shows. So it's awesome to go through this and having almost the entire set here is, is freaking great. And then, of course, I do have Nickelodeon magazines sitting back there. As you can see, I have a bunch of Nickelodeon magazines. Nowhere near as much as Disney Adventures, maybe one day, because I also love the Nickelodeon magazine as well. That was something I always wanted my parents to give me and never actually got when I was a kid, so I'm living it out now. Um, we got the Power Rangers full DVD set. We got the big comfy couch. Uh, these are two other ones that I had to create because they don't exist on DVD. So here's two of a kind, which is awesome. Doesn't exist on DVD, so I had to make my own and brotherly love whoever remembers that show is also fantastic also had to make that because it doesn't exist on on dvd or either uh we got a bunch of classic cards i have a giant binder sitting back there somewhere that has all of these classic cards in it if you guys remember collecting all of them from different tv shows like mtv yo raps we got disney ones we got the laffy ones that included things from perfect strangers and family matters and full house power rangers growing pains love that show all that kind of stuff and one of my new recent ads uh, which is awesome is this halloween town dvd and this is actually signed by the girl from halloween town uh marty which is fantastic that i actually have this on here and she signed that copy of halloween town and halloween town 2 that's actually on dvd and i actually have a picture of it right here with her signing it to me as well to carlos and thanks for being a fan so this is fantastic to get uh her to sign uh personally for me and then we have a nickelodeon uh see a uh, cassette player if you guys all remember this cassette player from back in the day a couple of others uh plug and plays that you're seeing back there we got the pet shop sitting back here if you guys remember that we had a wrestlemania dvd from back in the day i used to love wrestling back in the day even though i don't watch watch it very much anymore but it's still there we got some nerf guns here all always big nerf fans back in the day uh playing with that we got a gigantic ninja turtle guy of course that sits over here here on the corner we have the power rangers uh signed by the red ranger and then we have uh this signed by bradley pierce peter from jumanji which is awesome and then a blockbuster sign up there uh and then we got a cousin skeeter doll just chilling up there uh because i had an extra one even though i forgot to mention cousin skeeter is right there as well uh but yeah that is everything on this side of the room here like i said for the 90s i love this area because it brings so much nostalgic memories to me and i love adding even though it doesn't look like there's a lot of space i always find a way to add something else when i need to to this wall uh one way or another uh because i love collecting 90s stuff and uh, there's still some things i want out there that i look forward to getting one day that i used to have as a kid but i do have a lot of the stuff now and i'm every time i come down here and i'm on my computer desk over there and i just look over to the right and i start watching disney channel shows or start watching uh nickelodeon shows on this ninja turtles uh, it just brings back exactly what i want watching it on a crt watching it on these classic crts and just enjoying all these tv shows all these toys and pokemon cards and everything just visible and i love having everything visible like this because then people come over and obviously i grew up with friends that are also born in the 90s and they also remember this stuff and they have a fun time looking through this collection as well and i did say i was going to show off a little bit over here as well obviously this is the majority of my retro pc which i have done a full overview of this already about a year ago not much has changed but just to point some stuff out 
that are 90s related that you guys will probably be interested in that I keep over here is things like the Sonica CD player that I had as a kid. This is the white one that I had. That's the video now player I was talking about there in green. There is some more um, Pog sitting in that container there. I don't know how many people remember these Sabicos, but I used to love these things. They were basically all before phones, and if you were next to each other, they would work off of each other, and you could send messages to each other, make dating profiles, play games with each other. It was crazy, and I have three of those sitting right there to relive those memories. We have some cassettes back there. We have an AOL disc from back in the day. We, of course, have this from back in the day that you can actually uh, still play. Uh, and makes noises like the nick 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 the nick 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 a load and it makes that when you uh click on that but unfortunately i think it's turned off right now or the batteries are dead oh there you go there you go and uh yeah this is obviously mostly computer related stuff but i do have some other stuff over here like like everyone back in the day when they were on their computer had like a wall shrine of all their favorite people so you know i have uh mandy moore uh sitting over there we have britney spears uh, you know, Topanga again up there. Yeah. Everyone up there that I used to like from back in the 90s that all of us probably remember. Everything else is all computer related stuff that I've talked about in another video. But I just wanted to show show you guys that just for a couple of minutes here that there are some pieces over here uh, from the 90s that kind of hide in this corner on the desk as well. So that's it, guys. That is an overview of my 90s area so far. Like I said, I always add to this. I don't think it's going to anticipate like change very much as far as the outlook of the wall here but i always manage to add new stuff throughout the t throughout the year uh to this collection because i love collecting 90s stuff and and just adding more stuff to kind of remember my youth and kind of enjoy when i look over here on my computer desk on what's here so really really love this area this whole entire section between the the retro area of the pc and this area to kind of bring my childhood back to form and, and back to memory and just enjoying everything from back in the day so let me know what you guys did not see in this video today go comment down below and let me know toys and things that you guys remember from the 90s and early 2000s that i don't have that maybe i should look up and maybe i'll buy them because maybe i just don't remember them but when i see it i'm like oh crap i do remember owning that as a kid and i would love to see what you guys uh, haven't seen in today's video that you actually really like that I should look into as well or anything that you guys want to talk about that reminded you of your childhood in this video that I hope you guys enjoyed so other than that guys as always leave those comments down below and if not thank you guys for watching until next time